What is happening, webheads? Welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. I'm your host, Mike Spider Slayer, always helping you make decisions of what comic books to buy and bring in your daily comic book content. But today we're doing something a little bit different. This is a what if scenario. Now, this idea was given to me by one of my webheads in the comic section and go, hey, Mike Spider Slayer, what would your pull list look like if you could not write off your comics? Knowing that I am a YouTube, and yes, when I do my taxes, I can write off my comics. Plus, I do get paid for the monetization uh, for doing these videos, okay? So it kind of like, again, the hobby funds itself here. But what if I was not that YouTuber, right? What if I was just a normal comic everyday reader that was really tight on budget and can only afford so many comics, we're gonna find out today. This was a lot of research to find out and kind of an eye opener on how much money I spend. And maybe this is not even all the money I spend each week at the comic shop because I do buy back issues, I do buy variants and uh, multiple covers and stuff like that. But this list that I provide for you and this money is basically bare bones, okay? This is just like books I would not read anymore, no variant covers, no back issues. This is just new comic book day books and I think you're going to have fun with this. So if you love something like this, you know, again guys, subscribe to the channel. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Just something different. So let's get started here. So the data that I got here is for the entire month of September. So if I had to go on a strict budget and really, you know, buy books I truly liked, it was for the entire month of September. So here we go. And I'm going to name the list of titles and the prices. So the books that I would continue to read, and this is like this, look at this. I got two pages like of notes here. So the books that i continue to read in week one of september first one would be batman it's a five dollar comic incredible hulk is a four dollar comic absolute power is a five dollar comic book scarlet is a four dollar comic book gunslinger three dollars ain't no grave four dollars Mine, uh, Minor Arcadia, which is a new number one from Jeff Lemire. I would be reading that, $5. Uncanny Valley, $5. Flash Gordon, $5. A lot of $5 comics, but that's what I would be reading, which is a total of $48 that I would spend if you round those books up. That's not including taxes. Now, what would I drop? So the books that I would drop, you might be surprised that this would be The Ultimates, Issue 5. Even though I'm enjoying it, again, there's certain things that I have to make cuts that maybe I wouldn't always want to. And, uh, you know, The Ultimates might be one of them. And let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree on my decisions. Spectacular Spider-Man. Uh, this is a $4 comic. The JSA. This is a $4 comic. Spider-Boy which is a $5 comic. Venom War, $5 comic. Venom War, Spider-Man, uh, $4 comic. White Boat, which loved the first issue, but we still haven't seen the second one, $9 comic book. Then we have Chitara, which I'm actually enjoying, but it's a spin-off book. Don't have to have it if I can't afford it. So I would be saving $41 for that week one. My total cost if I bought all of those books would be $89. I'm saving $41. All right, so let's dive into week number two here. I would continue to read and you guys would be like, God dang, Mike, why don't you ever drop it? Amazing Spider-Man. This is issue, uh, not issue five. This is a $5 comic book. Transformers, of course, you can't drop that. That's $4. Uncanny X-Men is $5, and I would probably be reading that until like October at least. Um, Green Lantern, $5, which is good. TMNT, the new series, $5. Wolverine, $5, and that's the new number one. Geiger, which is $4. Uh, Space Ghost, $5. DC vs. Vampires, $5. Avengers Assemble, $5. Okay, which I would be spending that particular week uh, on books 
$48. Now here is the books that I would drop. Venom, $4. Ultimate Black Panther, $5. Again, another book that I like, but if I have to make cuts and I can't buy everything, it's going to be one of those. Batman and Robin, $5. Vengeance of Moon Knight, another tough drop, $5. Absolute Power, Task Force 7, that is a spin-off book, dropping it, $4. Batman, Death in the Family, $5. Spider-Man Reign 2, like the story, not my favorite, but gotta make cuts, it's five bucks. Venomverse, Reborn, $5, I might drop that anyway. Blood Hunters, I actually like that book, but again, don't need it. It's $5. Johnny Quest, only on issue two. Like the first issue, but Johnny Quest is not my favorite, favorite book. So $5 there, which is accumulates to a savings of $48. If I buy all those books, it's a total of $96. So again, saving $48 bucks there. All right. Now we're moving on to week number three. And week three, I would be purchasing still... Superman, that's $5. Ultimate X-Men, that's $5. X-Men, that's $5. The Avengers, $4. The Incredible Hulk, $4. Deadpool, $4. Destro, $4. X-Factor, issue one was great. That's $4. Redcoat, great series, $4. Dazzler issue one, I was really on the fence, but I have it on my pull list already. So it's like, okay, why not buy it? And it was a cool Kari Andrews variant. So there I would be spending, oh no, I got two more. Kill All Immortals, and then I have Plastic Death in Dolls. So the total there is $52 that I would be spending when I bought all those. The ones I would be cutting is Wonder Woman, that's a $5 comic. Titans, which is a $4 comic. Wolverine Deep Cut, which is a $4 comic. And I like it, don't get me wrong, but if I had to make the choices. Spider Society, I'm probably gonna drop that anyway. That's a $4 comic. Venom War Venomous is a $4 comic. And Witchblade, which is a $4 comic, which would not be a huge savings, but it's something, it's $25, okay? Now, if I did buy all those comics, and if I do on that current comic book week, I'm spending $77. All right, let's flip it over. Let's go into the last week here, guys. And our final week in September was a tough one. This was the hardest week. There's a lot of books that's coming out. And the books that I'm going to continue to read, right, or I would continue to read, is Ultimate Spider-Man, $5. Amazing Spider-Man, $5. Saga, $4. Action Comics, $5. Uncanny X-Men, $5. Something is Killing the Children, $5. Green Arrow, $4. X-Force, On the Fence, still reading it, $4. Wolverine Revenge, um, six dollars. That's expensive. Batman Off World, four dollars. Nice House by the Sea, four dollars. Feral, four dollars. Savage Dragon, been reading it forever, four dollars. Spawn Kills Every Spawn, that's a three dollar comic. One book I did not mention on here, which is Rook Exodus. It's not coming out for the for the month of September. I would never drop that freaking book. So that book is on the list forever. Okay. Dropping for that month is another supposed issue of JSA, which is $4. Santana, Bring Down the House. It's a good book, but it's six bucks, man. NYX, not good enough to even hold on to October, so that's $4. Phoenix, which I liked, but it's just a Jean Grey book, $4, dropping that. Absolute Power Task Force 7, another tie-in, $4. And Werewolf by Night, which I might drop anyway, issue 2, which is $5, which comes to a savings of $27. So, for the week, I would be spending $62 and saving $27. If I bought all the comics for that total week, it would be $89. So, there's weeks 1 through 4. Now, let's get the total numbers here. So for all four weeks for the entire month of September, if I bought every single one of those books, it would be $351. A lot of money there 
for all those comics, right? Now, if I was just the average comic book buyer, uh, I would cut all those other comic books and save $141, and my new total for the month would be $210 spent on comics. Now, for some of you guys, that still might be too much. I do have a pretty decent job to where I can afford $40, $50 a week even if I wasn't a YouTuber right but for the most part like I said before with the YouTube money I basically almost get these comics pretty much for free at this point but uh, yeah and that's the way it looks right so man do do I do this like anyway even though I am a YouTuber I don't know it gives me a hard look at really what I'm spending each month on these comic books, not including variant covers and back issues and things like that, right? A lot of money there. So hopefully you guys found this a little bit informative. I'm curious to hear what you spent monthly on your comic books and maybe what your budget is. And if you have any ideas for videos for me to do randomly, just let me know in the comments below. So as always, guys, if you love the content, there's more content right here for you to click on. Remember, support the local comic shops. Keep buying, keep collecting, but always remember, guys, read the comics. So we can have great comic conversation. Guys, I'll see you real soon. Take care. Bye.